Today we have Deej's Duckville. True. So, but we're just gonna test fit it. Yeah. Um, cause he's still gotta what? Send it to paint. Correct. Super excited to see it. I haven't even opened it. I've waited for Jay to come by to even open the That's box. Open. You know. That's I'm excited. I've wanted this exact wing for many years. Never bought it because I was like, ah, whatever. But it's here. So packaged so nice. Wow. Oh wow. 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 Oh, wow. You ready? This is exciting. It's painted, but not my color, so I have to handle it. Wow. Wow. Dang, son. That's pretty sick. Dang. It's in white. Obviously, my car is not white. <laughs> so, um, I do have to send this off to paint. The finish, actually, it's not nice. too bad. Like, it's a, uh, wow. Is this icon? Yeah. Wow. That's pretty good. That's not bad. That's, That's actually like good. really nice material. Wow, they like polished this perfectly and everything. Right. I know. That's and crazy. It's too bad I have to repaint it, but whatever. <laughs> All right. So presumably, that will put just like that. Damn. Wow. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Dang. That's nuts. Oh, oh, I can see it already. I can Maybe see it. I like the the way it comes up too. Yeah. Like it just, oh, it looks good. It has to get heated down a little bit. Like from the back, like you're just like yeah, and then you get to here, and it's like a whoosh. It's like a GTA airplane ramp. Cannot wait. I'm hoping to have this all set and done by Elite Tuner. I believe Elite Tuner is the next big big show that I'm trying to go to, and that will be August 15th. The one after that is actually the Rad, the Radwood show. Did I tell you about that? No. 80s and 90s cars only. Oh wow. Only. And they said plus plus brownie points if you wear 80s and 90s clothes. We're gonna send this off the paint, which will come at a later date. We'll see how it goes. True, true. Alright, until Thursday. The ITR badge. Was Bobby. It's nighttime. It's nighttime. I, I don't know where this footage is gonna go. <laughs> right now, actually, we weren't filming, but Jay suggested that we film because it's actually a pretty cool thing that we're doing. We are light painting, so a small light painting tutorial. Basically, just have your shutter speed really low, like in the seconds, between 15 to 10 seconds, I think is the best. You can pull it off at eight seconds, depending. Just have your f-stop really high. Between nine and 11 is pretty good. And so, because of the shutter speed, I'm running around with this. This is an aperture light. I'm hoping maybe one day they're gonna be a sponsor on the channel because I know they sponsor a couple others. This is an aperture MC and we're gonna run around and paint the cars. and prepped up and all that goodness all that goodness mm. ASMR <laughs> you know he's thriving apparently in jail is he really? apparently shout out to the, the No Chasers podcast by Tim when are we and gonna see the uh, the DSM video? <laughs> that'll be one oh tell you what at a thousand subs we'll drop the DSM video it's just old footage it was almost it was almost a thing. So random. Fitment industry. Shout out to you guys again because they are also proud affiliate sponsor of this channel. Yeah. So which is again super. Still not. He, you are still not used to that. No, nope, not at all. I was saying because of Fitment Industries, it's so random because they recently put a post about whether or not you should own a GSX or uh, or an R or if an RSX is going to be a JDM Classic, which is so funny. Cause it's funny. Because, I mean, obviously, we're doing this, and then the we DSM footage DSM. that we... Yeah, we were going to do a DSM build, and then yep. things didn't work out, so we'll 
Yeah, a thousand but, subs and we'll talk about it more, I guess. True. And possibly maybe a we'll a thousand subs and maybe we'll maybe we'll get another one. May yeah. Alright you guys, it is finally time. I'm gonna be bringing in the wing. Going to the body shop, finally. Not the body shop that we went to because we all know what happened there, but we're gonna bring this over to a different guy and we'll see how it goes. The next time we see this, it's gonna be all paint matched. I've always said the hatchbacks are like really nice because they have that just, it's so long. It's so good. Let's get to the shop, boys. So we just dropped off the spoiler. The guy actually cut me a deal and just the way that I was treated there was way, way better than I was at the other shop. I was actually recommended by my friend uh, Nacho, who I will leave here. So thank you to him for giving me that recommendation because so far these guys have been awesome and you know he told me that if you want it done perfect these are the guys to go to he said i can get it done in a couple days maybe friday or saturday so i'm hoping to pick it up then and i will see you when that's all set but we just got home i'm so excited to see this i hope you guys are also excited to see but this is what it looks like Okay. Ooh. Oh, look at that paint, the exact same. So, also, we got a good old package from Fitment. And it's a little decal. That's pretty sweet. So, I'm gonna be running this fitment decal. We're gonna be putting it on the TC probably pretty soon, not today. I think about right there, it should be okay, right? I'm gonna leave their link down below. Anything that you guys buy, I get a portion of that sale and it doesn't cost you guys any extra, it doesn't cost them any extra, but it comes to us and it helps build this channel. And like Jay was saying the other day, we don't have to spend a lot of money to do things to the car. And that's still something that I have to learn because or maybe my taste is just really expensive. So like I filmed over the last like three, four days or whatever. So we're here now. Jay's seeing, he hasn't even seen it yet. You ready? I am ready. Damn. My boy did work. That clean gloss coat. Oh my God. My boy did work. This looks factory And too. it's perfect matte. Oh yeah, baby. And then you said you got the gaskets and stuff? I got everything. Okay. It's ready to go. Look how perfect that oh, paint wow. is. Oh wow. That's like, that's exact. It's exact. And when it's, when it's like, oh wow. I know. Before we get started on this, you want to show us your car? Um, sure. Okay. Also, wait, real quick. Yeah. Oh man, once you have your front lip with the duck bill, yeah. splitters and stuff. Oh. Oh. My badge came in. That so. I'm telling you, man, that looks like, it just looks so much better. Just Man. There's a storm coming. The storm thinks it's cool too. Oh shoot. It's so much bull, like oh. so much bull just for an emblem. Dang. But I mean, it's- But it looks good. It's on there, but then as you can see, I took the, the two middle bars out. So I got to fill this in with um, with mm. actually something that you showed me Oh yeah, that recently. like Bondo stuff? Yeah, which works perfectly. not Bondo or whatever. I'm waiting to do everything all together in the front bumper. So like from sanding and filling, now I'm doing in the back because when we go to the back. Damn, look yesterday. at that. Look at that angle though, I just from here. I started my duck bill. Yes. So um, we talked about it before, but we I knew for a fact this was not gonna be able to be filmed. So obviously DJ got his. I was in a position where I went through a lot of different wings that I saw and it wasn't that I didn't like them but it wasn't up to spec to how I liked the angle and how I wanted it to be. I bought this lip a long time ago off of Wish just for fun and it was like six bucks. Was this an RSX lip or a Beamer lip? This was just like a universal lip Oh, kit. just, oh. Yeah. Was it meant for the Beamer at that time? Sure. Oh, okay. It just ended up being so perfect where like I kind of gauged it where it was about a pinky on both sides from where the, um, the trunk would be. Right. And then this is curved on the inside so that way also angles up. I don't know if I want to keep this curvature because I still want to make sure that it's reaching out here to flush the rest of it. Mm -hmm. And I still got to finish the back, but a lot of this is foam insulation, like foam spray that hardens. Damn. God.
fiberglass mat that I did, uh, I basically just molded it around, waited for that to, to dry. Yeah. And then everything from there made it super easy for me to angle up since this was already a whole piece. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, nice, all I got to do is fill in the rest and then yep. start shaping and it'll be ready for primer hopefully this week. Yeah. Oh, damn. This is the first time I'm seeing this. Oh, yeah. I put on, wow. my, uh, I put on the decals on my sister's That's truck. sick. Or SUV. I like I like that the left right thing. I, guess who Kylie actually was the one really? that uh, she was like I want the rock shoe in the middle and then the two over the top. Man, that's awesome. This is cool. And um, this is weird to me that I it's still weird for me to see like my stuff your company? places. Like it's weird. Mm -hmm. What is your game plan to pilot out holes and how you're attaching them? So there are holes here okay. where that we want to hit because the the nut is actually already in it. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to I'm thinking Sharpie this and then like kind of stamp it. Stamp it. Yeah. All right. All right let's, let's get it. Let's make it happen. Let's, do it. let's uh, make this happen. Family. We hungry. Because what I'm worried about is that we have zero access to it. That's what I thought. I can't tell where it is. There's no way to get to it. That's um, what I thought. Because so, they're like right here, yeah. which means that it's right about here. Oh, that's not good either. Do you see that? This what? is my this is my rubber line, which is right where it is. So we cannot cut there. Otherwise, that's an open hole. So Jay's doing that, we're cutting this up pretty decent. As we have cut through the paint and all that trunk, we're gonna have to kind of put something to cover the that exposed metal. So what we're gonna do is just plasti dip it and hopefully it works out. But it's wet outside, look at that. It's kind of nice though, cause it's like, you know, like literally you see it in the car, it's like half wet, half dry. So we've done a lot of stuff off camera. We learned our lesson from the left hole, which is here. We ended up missing. So this, we ended up having to do two circle drills versus this one that's just way cleaner. And obviously you see the black and we ended up, like I said, hitting it with some Plasti Dip so that it will be, you know, the paint won't rust out or anything. We ended up doing the same thing to the top side. We're gonna leave it like that because it's going to be covered by the spoiler anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And that's just like plasti dip for that. Next thing we have to do is just throw it on. Jay prepped it already. We got some 3M tape just for reinforcement and also some like foamy bits so it's not just banging on the paint the entire time. Here's where the bolts are going to go right into there. Come on, stop. Oh, Gohan. What are you doing, bud? He hugging. He's oh yeah, he's koala arming you right now. Look at that. <laughs> ah! Oh yeah. All right, all right. Now see if you can take the magnet and try to fish it and pull it out with the magnet. Pull it. I'm pulling it down. I'm pulling it down. All right, all right, all right. Oh. I got it. You got it? Pull it up a little bit more. Uh, is it exactly where it is? Where it needs so. to be? Yeah, I got it. Ah. Wow, that was genius. Got it. Can we take a minimal break, actually? I know we're almost there. But yeah. I just got a text from my sister. Okay. I got a make comment. <laughs> oh. Saing. <laughs> Saing na, huh? Look at that. Look at that perfect drain. Let's get all the cloudy waters out. Because. <laughs> Because it will be stinky. Want, don't want bajo water, ba bajo tubero. <laughs> All I usually do is two to three rinses, because it's usually that good, and then we go, finger! Finger check. Keep on, keep warm. And then you wait about an hour. You do keep warm? There's no cooking? Usually, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to keep it on keep warm, because the last time I put on white rice, it didn't cook. My keep warm doesn't work. I had to. I miss my old rice cooker, you just, Flip the switch. Yeah. I. Where's my relic? 
Look at that roll! Oh yes, that's exactly what I'm thinking about. That if you, you like hit the, you hit the switch and go click, yep, and then all at the end it goes, yep, and it's done. It's a little tiny grabber hand that holds it just enough where we can get the uh, the Phillips in there. So what yep. we're doing is we're using this extension to just give enough clearance on the back here, but still hold it upright, which is perfect. Because as this extends, we can get it behind, let it sit, but then we can replace the hand by putting the um, the Phillips in and catching the threads. Mm -hmm. And we don't have to worry about like making sure that it's straight going in. Elite Tuner is coming. I'm really excited. My car got accepted, as I was saying. Um, so Elite Tuner con content is coming. It's going to be a lot. They tell me that there's going to be a drift stuff. I don't. It's probably just a drift uh, exhibition. I'm guessing no competition, but it's just going to be drift. There's going to be a two-step contest, a car limbo contest, from what I'm aware of. Um, so it's going to be a lot of cool stuff, and we're going to try to record mostly all of it. That's it for this time. Yeah. Till next time. long but I'm excited oh I should probably unlock the car first oh god oh Jesus. oh oh god one teaspoon of flour <laughs> yeah dude there's always a Filipino cadence like it's always then, the same and, oh and then when they try it mm, okay I'm just going to take a little bit oh my god mm, masarap okay if, okay if you if you like my tutorial make sure you subscribe for more auntie aunties <laughs> Okay. Auntie Auntie's cooking. Auntie Auntie's cooking on every Saturday, oh. You wanna stay here or you wanna go outside? It's up to you. Eventually what? I'm gonna get my yeah. RX7 back. Do it. I thought Nino had an RX7. No, no. Nino had an MR2. MR2. My first force car in RX7. We rolled deep. So my dad is is really my dad's hot.